Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1, GV Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. I have a question for you all, this new year, today being 3 January 2019. Got to remember now to date everything 2019. Wind, storms, lightning, accidents of various sorts, antennas can be dangerous animals to deal with, can't they? They can pose a threat to life and property if not properly installed, and sometimes if they are properly installed. Lots of dangers involved there that you may not be aware of. So the purpose of this video is to increase awareness of possible, maybe unanticipated, dangers associated with antennas. I would like you to relate in a brief comment, if you feel like it, your most disastrous antenna mishap of your entire ham radio um, existence. What was the worst thing that ever happened? If it's so bad that you don't want to relate it, uh, then your second most worst or whatever. But just to give, to increase some awareness of what uh, can happen. I'd say the worst thing that ever happened to me was to have an antenna get struck by lightning and cause a lot of damage to the electrical circuitry in the room where it was installed and in the fuse panel of the circuitry where it was installed. The antenna was grounded, I believe. No, it was not grounded. It was actually connected to a Johnson, EF Johnson transmatch and a violent thunderstorm apparently had a near miss, the induced charge caused enough uh, damage to the equipment to arc across the contacts of the transmatch. Fortunately, the only other damage it did to my equipment was to blow out the fuse in the keyer for some odd reason. My equipment then at WA0 Ocean Kilo Victor in Rochester, Minnesota was a Drake R4A T4X combo and an Ico Keyer plus the EF Johnson transmatch leading to a 20 meter ground plane antenna on the roof of the house. That antenna by the way withstood 100 mile an hour winds without suffering any damage whatsoever. I even had the gall to go outside and look at what it was doing during the storm and it hardly was moving. It was a very well constructed antenna, but it conducted electricity sufficiently well to allow the induced surge from the lightning stroke to damage some electrical circuitry in the house. I'm sure glad I was not at the station when that occurred. I'm a little more careful now when there are thunderstorms nearby. In fact, I keep my antenna completely dismantled and disconnected unless I'm actually using it. And then I check the weather radar to be sure there are no thunder showers in the vicinity. But was it a blizzard? Did your antenna fall on a power line? Did some little squirrel chew it down and cause it to land on somebody else's property and make them cause them to sue you or what what uh, what sort of bizarre things can happen out there i think every radio amateur would like to know so tell us if you dare stangibalisco w1gv signing off saying 73 and so long which whatever kind of antenna Whatever kind of hazard may exist, always translates in my native fist so long, 
Da-da-da-da-da-da.